if my five years of reselling it finally happened hello everyone welcome back to my channel i apologize i cannot find my mic anywhere so i am going micless in this video so hopefully it's not too distracting and hopefully i talk loud enough i am very soft spoken i recently have gained a few new subscribers i think about 30 i think that's what youtube told me this past month so i really appreciate you subscribing to my channel i know it's super small and i'm not a very interesting person but i really do appreciate it if you hear some little feet running around in the background that is my dog chase he's down here with me so just a little bit about myself my name is stephanie i am a pohagan band citizen of potawatomi indians so i'm native american i am a mother of two rambunctious little boys parker and milo my oldest parker he is seven and my youngest is three i resell to help pay for my son's school tuition and i just really love shopping and i'm very addicted to going to the bins <laughs> that is why i do reselling and i have been reselling for about how old is my son <laughs> he's seven i think five years now i think this is going on my sixth year if i remember correctly that is a little bit about myself so i am changing the way i do my what sold videos what sold in a week videos are very time consuming to edit and i don't really get too much enjoyment out of doing those videos in fact what's old videos are not particularly my favorite type of videos to watch and film but i've had some people tell me that those are the most interesting videos so <laughs> i'm gonna try to change up the way i do them i know when i first started doing youtube i would just read off and show people on the screen like a screenshot of the items that i have sold and i think i'm gonna go back to that instead of like packing my sales up and all of that fun stuff so i don't know so in this video i am going to share some what's sold and pack up some sales and share a little bummer story you may have noticed that i have been posting more shorts on my channel because my husband actually created a program to pull items from my eBay store, uh, things that I listed that day, just clicks a few buttons and the video is made. So super hands off, super easy. So he's been working on creating more programs to expand his portfolio to get a better job. So that is why I've been posting more shorts. He's just been practicing and so I've just been posting those to kind of give you guys an idea of items that I typically pick up and items that I list. I do list on eBay first and then I cross list over to Poshmark using... I tried to go up the stairs and he fell. Cross list to Poshmark using Flip. It's free. You don't have to pay anything for it. Um, and I leave that down in the description box below as well if you're interested. No pressure or anything to download it or use it. It's totally up to you. And something else that I've actually been doing that I have not talked about is I've been using Fiverr. Somebody has been, I've been paying somebody to actually draft items for me on eBay and wow, holy guacamole, it is the best thing i have ever done and so i will leave his information down below as well if you're interested uh i know he recently just increased his prices if i remember correctly he lives in a different country so our the time zones are totally different i've used him a total of four times now and he drafts 20 items for me and i slowly list those items throughout the week so i have something to list every day i typically list about five items per day but lately i have not been sticking to that rule because i have not gone to the bins in a while and i'm hoping to go sometime in the next couple of weeks but we'll see it's very hard as a stay-at-home mom and getting any type of work done is just very challenging at times so i have not gone to the bins in over a month and i Ugh, I've been craving it. So I've just been hanging on to items that I was either going to take to Play-Dohs. I ended up just listing it because I needed stuff to list. And then my wonderful sister-in-law gave me some items 
that she was donating so I'm, I have some more stuff to list now so I've just been periodically listing here and there I don't list stuff every day right now because I don't really have much to list so I've kind of just been doing more batch listing oh I also started a new YouTube channel uh, as you may have noticed in my community post I posted twice now um, a link to those videos it's a reseller POV <laughs> and <laughs> it's basically a work with me so if you want some work inspiration or a work buddy I will leave my second YouTube channel down below if you're interested no pressure at all to subscribe or like I know it's not everyone's cup of tea or that type of content personally I enjoy watching those types of contents but to each their own yeah I started that channel because I'm too nervous to film in public I know I've done it maybe a couple times now and it's just been oh I just feel like all the eyes are like watching me and it's just so embarrassing <laughs> so I just I haven't worked up enough courage yet to do that I have thought um, actually I have tried different ways to film and one of the ways that I thought of was a spy camera <laughs> I know it's so ridiculous but I actually have this uh, pen that is a camera but I used it a couple times and the footage just isn't really that great and uh, you kind of have to like it's kind of obvious a little bit but I do wear my crossbody Lululemon bag so I'm able to like position it but it's still not the greatest so I'm actually thinking I'm getting a body cam like kind of what the police officers wear but yeah we'll see that's why I started another reselling channel just basically me steaming measuring like the whole process of me listing items photographing all of that I just don't I do show you a little bit of how I like put the stuff in the bags to put in my inventory just fun little videos like that I don't talk or anything it's just kind of like an ASMR video too in a way because you just hear me move in and shuffling stuff around steaming so once again I'll just leave that down in the description box if you are interested now I am going to pull my sales I have, uh, let me look, I have seven eBay orders and Poshmark, I, I think I have two, no, three. I have three Poshmark and I would have had one on Mercari, but there was a payment issue. So, um, yeah, I am going to show you how I store my items just at a quick little glance. I'm actually currently switching up my inventory system. I used to use totes and you'll see some totes in there and some regular uh, like boxes. I'm switching because totes are way too heavy and, I, and it's just hard getting stuff in and out of them. I am gonna go do that. Now I usually use my phone to get the information that since I am currently using my phone to video this, I'm going to write down the items that I need to pull. League of Legends watchers or players, you'll know who this wonderful lady is. I will just use my spy pen. <laughs> All right. Looks like it's gonna go through. Hopefully, let's see. Yay, it went through. Okay, so I have one Mercari sale. And it's an Aeropostale bag. Let's go end that on eBay. I actually found this at a local thrift store. Oh, do I not have it? listed what in the world there it is that is in zero three one i'm going to and that sorry my uh desk is very messy right now 
Alright, no more sales there. Okay, and I gotta end it over here too, because I always forget to take stuff off my Poshmark. Wow, I got 15 likes. And nobody wanted it, so I am going to delist. And I use Prime Lister. Uh, I don't use it to cross post anymore, so my try my um billing period ends in March, so I'm still able to delist items using their cross listing platform. Did it work? Let me look. Yes, but I actually did switch to their what do you call it? sharing whole thing and it's increased some Poshmark sales so all right I got everything written down so let's go pull it this is where I keep my inventory these are new shoes that I need to put away box of stuff that I need to list and this is more personal items here but this is where I have my old inventory system so this is going, I'm slowly selling the items that are inside of these boxes, but this wall, which we are eventually going to put a different shelving, more custom, and my husband, hopefully, <laughs> will build it to better accommodate these, this size boxes, these size boxes, whatever, um, because these are just lighter and i can keep track better of what is inside of each box so that is currently my inventory system as of right now i mean it could always change because seems like things are always changing so i'm going to start pulling the stuff and get these babies packed up Our furnace just kicked on, so I apologize if you hear some noise. All right, so this is where I ship my items, and this pile here is items that I already have listed. I just need to put in their baggies. I prepackage everything and I weigh stuff. This just makes shipping a lot faster for me because I don't really enjoy this and. Um, I usually have kids with me when I do my shipping, and this just makes it go faster, so. Yep, I am going to put you back up on a tripod and show you what's old. eBay! I've been selling a lot of Torrid today, so that's awesome. This first item, which you will not be able to see because <laughs> I have it all packaged up. Uh, it's a off-shoulder lightweight French Terry sweatshirt off the shoulder it's green uh this sold for $16.99 and I got this at the bin it's actually a recent bins haul too so that's cool next ebay sale I sold another toward item this I found on facebook I'll link that haul video in the card just somewhere um I paid I think about two dollars for this item and this sold for $21.24, $21.24. I sold this, this was hanging up in my closet, so that's why it is not packaged, but it's a JOS bank, which I don't typically, I really hope you can hear me. <laughs> I don't typically pick this brand up anymore because it just sits, but I picked this up because it is, it's 100% camel hair and that is why i picked it up and it was at the bins so that is why i picked this up and it sold for 24 dollars and 49 cents this sat for quite some time i sold another torrid item and this is a bra uh this sold for 16.99 i found this at the bins this actually took quite some time to sell maybe six months um, but I found it at the bin, so I paid next to nothing for it. Alaskan Cruise crew neck sweatshirt that I actually got for myself at a local Goodwill retail store. I paid $5 for it, but I 
didn't like how high the neck was so I ultimately decided to list it and it took some time to sell and it's actually going to someone in Michigan and this sold for $19.99. This next item, it's a Talbot's puppy dog full zip up sweater. This I'm pretty sure I sourced off a thread up outlet section a long time ago <laughs> and it's a yeah this took more than a year to sell and but it finally sold it sold for $25 and my last eBay sale is something that I actually recently listed and I'm very surprised that this sold so quickly because it also had a hole in it but I also didn't get very much for it it's a Michael Starr's t-shirt top uh, long sleeve and it sold for nine dollars but I did find it at the bins so I'm not losing a ton of money. <laughs> Moving on to my Poshmark sales. First one is this Madewell silk uh, paisley printed blouse. This sold for $15 and I found this in Texas at the Dallas, is it Dallas? I don't know, uh, bins. And yeah, that sold actually fairly quickly. I'm surprised because Madewell isn't a strong seller for me anymore and it had a stain on it so I'll take 15 bucks I think I averaged three dollars for the items that I found in Texas because I did have to ship the items back to me then my next item is Athleta tank mini dress and it sold for $12 I found that at a church thrift store for three dollars they recently raised their prices to $4 per clothing item now, so I gotta be a little more selective with their stuff that they sell. And then my last Poshmark sale sold a cabbie hooded knit sweater for $22. That I... Did I find that at the bins or was that something my grandma gave me? I don't remember. My last sale is on a Mercari. I sold this Uber Y2K corduroy, brown corduroy little shoulder bag, mini shoulder bag. That sold for $15. So I am going to go ahead and get all this uh, packaged up and I'm gonna schedule a pickup for tomorrow so I don't have to worry about it. And I will share my heartbreaking story at the uh, when I'm done packing this up. So let's get that done real quick. all my sales packed up that was a lot more than I was expecting <laughs> but it's nice to see that my sales are finally picking up with my five years of reselling it finally happened and that I switched up Poshmark labels <laughs> I've always read that someone else has done this and I'm like I will never do that I don't know how you can mix those up but I finally did it I finally did it I sold a pair of kids Keens for $18 and I accidentally sent them a Lulu's bodysuit <laughs> and the lady that I sold the bodysuit to I let her know but she is not responding to me so I am very very sad Thankfully, these are just two items that I found at the bins, but I sold those Keens for $18 and the Lulu's bodysuit for $14. And this bodysuit has sold on eBay and returned. So I was finally happy to get it out the door again. So yeah, a little bit unfortunate and sad at the same time, but mistakes happen. And I really wish Poshmark would make shipping, like their labels, easier to read when you ship. They just have the tiny little username 
in the little box or whatever on the label and it's such a tiny little print that it's a little hard to see sometimes and what I like about eBay is that the labels print in order and when you do that with Poshmark especially if you have more than like five sales at once going out it's very easy to mix up so finally happened to me has this ever happened to you <laughs> I'm very curious to know I know it's happened to my friend at least one time maybe even twice <laughs> but I wish Poshmark would change up how the shipping was but that is going to do it for me. Let me know down below what you thought of this new type of video. But I am very tired and it looks like I haven't showered in like a week, but I literally showered. It's just been a long day. Lots of cleaning. I'm potty training my son right now, so <sighs> this is great. This, this is fine. This is fine. Subscribe to my channel and like this video. I would really appreciate it. And thank you to all those who have subscribed to my channel and watch my videos and continue to watch my videos. It really does mean a lot to me. I am not a very, I'm not good with words. And so this is just really helping me come out of my comfort zone and put myself out there. So hopefully it's not too weird or awkward for you <laughs> to watch or cringy. So anyways, enough talking for me. I am going to end this video and go hang out with my husband. So I will see you on my next one. Bye.